today we're going to talk about blue. Well, specifically blue eyes and what color eyeshadows to choose if you have blue eyes and you really want to pop or contrasting look more natural and more subtle. So what do you choose? The first a mini color theory lesson. So let's look at it this way. This is just a tool we're going to use for a visual. If you have blue eyes, you want something to make the, your eyes pop then you want to come to the opposite end I can't, I can't see myself of blue on the color wheel and look for colors that have warmth to them so your yellows your oranges red oranges you know so you're thinking your warm browns your coppers your peaches <laughs> and i'm going to show you some real good examples of that those are the colors on the color on the color wheel that are called complementary or contrasting, and they will bring out the blue in your eyes. But what if you want to go more of a natural look? Then you're gonna stay what, with what's next to blue on the color wheel. So you're gonna stay with some blues, darker blues, maybe some greens. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like in eyeshadow colors. So we'll start to swatch right now. So directly across from blue on the color wheel is yellow and yellow orange so let's start with that so orange and look at how these are contrasting the just the intensity you get the concept i'm not saying this is the eyeshadow combination you would wear but there's variations within this color range or combination here that we can choose from but just looking at the contrast now this one is tangerine and it's gorgeous on blue eyes and how about Charmer? This is another yellow. How about Golden Glam? Now this has some shimmer and is a golden yellow. That's gorgeous. Now we enter into the peaches and we have Charmer. No, Honesty. I always get Charmer and Honesty mixed up. Okay, Honesty and peach, which is really honesty with shimmer. But do you see how that all blends together? So you're thinking opposite of the color wheel, this is what's gonna make my eyes stand out and it's gonna give them emphasis and pop, but we're not done. We also have, now we're kind of getting into the warm browns. Um, this one is caramel. Oh, running out of room, hang on. Okay, caramel. And this one is Fawn. Fawn is a lot like Caramel. Slightly different. Let's see how that all works so well together. All right, now what about your highlight? Under your brows, maybe a pop on the inner corner to lighten and brighten in that area. Maybe I mean on your lid. So you could go with Champagne Ice. Or you could go with pashmina. <laughs> so pashmina is a little more subtle. Um, champagne ice has a little bit more shimmer. So all of these are your pops of color, your emphasis color. They are used, you know, your accent color. I'm gonna to get to your neutrals in a bit, but first I wanna explore what you would wear if you wanted um, sort of a monotone look, a little bit more natural, sort of blending in with your eye color. I forgot one of my very favorite colors and that is Celestial. That's another great color to help your eyes just go, ba bam <laughs> All right, so now think about this. Your eyes are blue. You could wear your just neutral browns, which we're gonna to get to next for a very subtle natural look, but consider sort of matching your eyes, which gives a very natural look, but not, it doesn't have to be vibrant. I mean, this is, we're pretending this is our blue eye, right? Uh, this is blast and blue. That's a fun one to play with, but that's, you can, I'll tell you what, I love this color. You don't have to wear it as bright as that and I pair it with my neutrals and it's beautiful but we've got stone and this one is frosted cement so these are your grays and you could go midnight 
which is really a black. Just think of your blue eyes. Now we've got faded denim. And here are some fun colors that could also be sort of accent colors, but they're still going to be matching your eyes. They're next to the blue on the color wheel, so everything is coordinated. This one is Forget Me Not, and then Blue Opal. That's a gorgeous color. I hope I'm catching the light well enough for that. How about Fabulous? Remember, you can pair any of these with a neutral brown or a neutral taupe or even one of the ones we've showed earlier with the, the warm orangey yellow coppers. Copper's another one. I did not pull copper. Copper's another great eyeshadow color. And how about teal, twist and teal? So something to think about, if you have blue eyes, Blue is a cool tone, right? So we've got very, a lot of cool tone coming here. The browns, the warm oranges and yellows and coppers, the peaches, those are all warmer. And I'm gonna touch on that in a moment as well, because you might have a skin tone that's cool or warm with your blue eyes and you wanna work with that. So now I've got a uh, faded denim to represent your blue eyes. I've got a swatch of pashmina and uh, champagne ice to represent your highlight. You can also use them as highlight anywhere on the face that you'd like. And then I've got a swatch of two warm browns, a mid-tone warm brown, which is velvet, and a little mid-tone also golden taupe has more shimmer. Velvet is a matte, golden taupe is a shimmer, maybe for your crease, perfect, or even a transition shade. Now let's go into hot cocoa which you could consider a neutral, but it leans towards warm. If you had to choose a warmer cool, hot cocoa, that would be great for your blue eyes. Sandstone is also a warmer mid-tone brown for your blue eyes. And now we're gonna go into the cooler browns for blue eyes. Those of you that have blue eyes, but lean towards a cooler skin tone and you feel like you look better in the cool tones. So that's what we're gonna do next. Let's go with our blue eyes. How about silver taupe? You like cool browns, you want it, or you have a cooler skin tone, undertone, and you want to represent that. You want to bring that forth. You feel more comfortable in cooler tones, even though you have blue eyes, this is gonna work just as well. Silver taupe. And next I have suede. Silver taupe is some shimmer. Suede is a matte brown. And sable, a little darker than suede. More of a taupe. Also a matte brown. Now remember, think about your blue eyes there. And then soft touch is a little softer than those two. And it has sort of a, a rosy plum undertone. One of my favorite favorites wear it all the time and here's another one of my favorites wear it all the time but wait I meant to say that suede and sable are also very good because they're matte uh, brow shades too okay here is cobblestone that's a great shade can you see that did I let me swatch that again it's a great transition shade for cooler tones it's lovely I hope this is super helpful and I'm going to come along and also do uh, green eyes, brown eyes, and hazel eyes so that it's easier to choose your eyeshadow colors.